Hey guys, it's Swinkly. Today marks exactly three weeks since I began working on this project. And instead of making another scripted video, I figured I would actually just open up the project and show you guys around. So here's what I've been able to accomplish so far. When you boot up the game, you get this nice title screen. It's got a scrolling background, the title of the game, and your level select. Currently, there are two dungeon levels that you can choose from, and below each level, you get some stats. So here is our personal best time for each level, and then an indicator of whether or not you've collected the level keys. So I recently reset the save, we don't have any data, so let's go ahead and open up a level here to get started. So for those who haven't been following the devlog so far, let me go over the movement kit. You can run, and you're pretty quick. You've got a regular jump, a wall jump, and the wall jump displays how many you have left. Uh, you've got a slide to gain a burst of speed, You've got a ground pound, and that ground pound can be chained into a bounce. Then, if you just barely make it to the edge and you can't quite get on top of an obstacle, you've got a ledge grab. You can just hop on top like that. Alright, so now that we're kind of familiar with the kit, here's our first level key. It just sort of sits there until you collect it, at which point it begins following you around. And you can get up to three of these per level currently. Uh, and they will all follow you around. So actually, let's find our next one, which is in this uh, nice location here that you can only get to by bouncing, by the way. Well, look at that. Now we got two of them. And again, these continue to follow you all the way through the level. All right, now here we're coming up on our first obstacle. If you touch these spikes, you will die. And you'll respawn at the nearest respawn point. You also have a randomized death text, which has these, you know, little quotes that appear next to your character to give them some personality. Pretty cool. Alright, so here we've got our breakable barrier. Now, please don't ask me why it sounds like glass, but it's actually a vine. Uh, I'm going to replace it with something that uh, more appropriately fits the sound effect or, you know, tweak it later on. But that's neither here nor there. Let's wall jump up and continue to proceed through the level. We got more breakable barriers here. And an opportunity for some platforming. And then, let's go ahead and take a peek back here in case we, you know, just so we don't miss anything. And here we do have our third level key. So I do want to put them in creative locations, of course, to incentivize exploration. Uh, this is a very small level, but, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Alright, so... And, and it, this is kind of a short level, by the way. Um, finalized levels for the game will probably be a bit longer, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way to the goal here. And we got our completion screen. It tells you level complete, it gives you your time, and the number of times you died. And now, if we press enter to, uh, to continue here, look at this, back at the main menu, and we can see we've got our time stored. So our fastest time is now 228, and all keys collected is displayed next to the level as well, letting us know that we found all the collectibles. Pretty fun. All right, let's go to dungeon two here, and I want to apologize in advance for how rough this level looks. Um, I'm not, oh. Dang. I have not spent a lot of time on the aesthetics of this one, and I do think it looks pretty bad, but uh, we'll change that over time. Let's go ahead, and in this, we'll just quickly play through, see if we can get all three keys. Speaking of which, there's one right now. Okay. There we are, there we are. So that one, you gotta do a little bit of tough platforming and, you know, get the wall jump uh, whilst avoiding the spikes. Got a nice wall jumping section here where you can see i i know a lot of games have like two or three wall jumps four feels good i feel like in this game it allows you to do some crazy platforming stuff and i don't know i just feel like with the rest of the kit it works really well all right now we're coming up on this section so basically you got two options here you can do the wall jumps up boom boom or you can just uh well, you probably shouldn't do that. Or you can just go here and do a quick slide and look at that. You've got the secret level key. 
Um, the movement does work pretty well on slopes. There are some cases where it'll mess up the momentum, but I've got so few of them right now that it's really not a big deal. Uh, go ahead and bounce to get up here. Some more wall jumps, if you will. Uh, and, you know, rest of the level, just some basic platforming stuff. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you do have some spikes here. I need to eventually implement a looking down mechanic so you can see them, but like say if I were to jump off here, you do die. And then kind of respawn back up there. All right. Coming up on the end pretty soon here. We just got a few more platforming things to do. Use our ledge grab here to get this last key. And look at that, all three keys following the player around. Looks pretty cool. And wouldn't you know it, I've messed up the platforming, so we're gonna have to give it another go here. All right, let's see if we can get that. And there we go. We'll just plunge to the end. We got a nice time. We did die three times, that's unfortunate. But, you know, overall, not a bad, not a bad time. All right, so we can see our data has updated for uh, both of these levels now. We've collected the level keys. We've got a nice PB for each one. But this is a speedrunning game, so why don't we go ahead and get a faster time on one of these, hopefully. Now, one thing I did implement, uh, or... Well, it's not going to be a permanent feature. I'll probably have a better menu at some point, but if you want to reset, like if you make a mistake, you can literally just hit enter and go back to the beginning. But let's go ahead and see if I can showcase what it looks like to kind of use all the movement elements in unison to go fast. Now, I'm not guaranteeing like a crazy time here, but if you really practice this kit, it begins to feel really nice, like really cohesive, and you can do some cool stuff. All right, almost at the end already. Hey, hey, this is not bad for first try. And wouldn't you know it, I've gone, a <laughs> gone ahead and messed up, but here we are, 3341. Uh, as you can see, a lot faster than the first time. And again, it's going to store that time on your main menu, further incentivizing you to, you know, be faster. Uh, but yeah, it's. I'm really liking how the kit is feeling. It, it definitely makes you want to go back and try to beat your previous time. Um, and for those of you who have seen uh, my previous video where Donut and Lemon were, you know, competing for the fastest speed run, uh, I do feel like that characteristic of the game is coming along well. But yeah, this is kind of all of the main features of the game so far. Um, I haven't really gone into what it took to implement these, and I'll probably need to get into that in a later video, but I will link some of the resources that have really helped me out recently. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing just a sneak peek into what the game is looking like so far. Uh, again, I've been working on this for three weeks, and when I say three weeks, I mean I've been... There have been days where I poured over ten hours in uh, at a time, like in, in a single sitting, basically. So it, it hasn't been easy. There's been difficulties along the way, but I'm having, you know, a heck of a time with it so far. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm hoping to have more uh, kind of traditional devlogs out soon, but wanted to just give this showcase to uh, update you guys on how the game is looking. Also, I will be posting a playable demo in the Discord very soon, uh, which is basically just going to be this. Uh, I might make a little a few tweaks here and there, but it's basically going to be this, uh, if you guys want to test it out and see how the movement kit feels uh, for yourself. Uh, also, I'm still waiting for my Steam page to be approved inexplicably, even though it's been way more than two to three days, but as soon as it's approved, I will be posting it, and you guys can wishlist the game when, uh, if you are interested in doing so. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for now. Really appreciate you guys watching and checking out the game. I uh, hope to have more updates for you guys soon, but with that said, I'm going to head out for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.